Hey folks, it's Mark here from Harmonics Tuition, back today with three pentatonic blues licks for you, which will help you improve. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you click the bell icon so you never miss an upload. And don't forget to like and share this video if you think it can benefit somebody else. I'm gonna break the licks down in order of difficulty. The first one is the easiest, the second one's a little bit more fiddly, and the last one has quite a lot to it. So let's get started with lick number one. Okay guys, so for this lesson and these licks, I'm using the D minor pentatonic scale, the standard shape here between frets 10 and 13. And I'm gonna be using the neck pickup for this, keep it nice and tuby and warm, okay? So for the first lick, I'm simply ascending 10 to 12 on the A, 10, 12 on the D, and then 10, 12 on the G. But when I get to the 12, I'm bending it up to the pitch of 14. I'm holding it. I'm putting my pinky down on fret 13 on the B. I'm picking up with that. Then I'm picking back down on the 12. It's bent up to 14 still. Then I'm releasing it. Then I'm pulling off to fret 10. And then I'm ending on the mid root there. 12 on the D, which is a D note. Okay, so let me show you that nice and slow all together. See my pick in there, I'm going down, 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 up, down, down. Sometimes I may vary that, but just for the purpose of this, just try that. And what you want is when you're doing this bend, if you want to try and make it sound like there's more notes there, which ideally you want to do. You want to release that bend without going too slowly. You want to really drop it down from 14, because you're bending 12 to the pitch of 14. So if you imagine you're creating 14 here, you want to go back down to 12 immediately and pull off. So you get this kind of sound rather than like that. Okay, so for lick number two, we're basically only gonna be using the top three strings here. Okay, so the E, the B, and the G, and we're only gonna be using our first three fingers. So we're keeping things quite simple. So we're gonna start on the E string here on fret 10. We're gonna be picking up on that. Then I'm coming over onto the B. I'm picking down on the 13, pull off the 10. Okay, then I'm gonna be bending with my second finger on fret 12 on the G string up to the pitch of 14 or the pitch of 10 on the B, whatever, like that. Okay, then I'm gonna be bouncing the 10 and the 10 on the B and the E again, so. Like that, and I'm picking down up on the B and the E respectively there. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go 13, pull off the 10 again. Then I'm gonna come over onto the G string, gonna play the flat five, which is the 13 on the G string. And I'm gonna play with my third finger. I'm gonna play that, pull off to 12, pull off to 10. Then I'm gonna play an upstroke on fret 12, and then down on fret 10. So it'll look like this. It's got a nice flow, it's got a good rhythm to it, and uh, although it's a little bit more fiddly than the first one, it's a nice little phrase and you can use it wherever you want, really. Okay, so lick number three is a little bit more difficult than the others in that it requires a lot more sort of movement with your left hand, it's a little bit more fiddly, so I'm gonna show you this now. This is primarily a triplet lick, okay? So I'm gonna be starting, first of all, in this position. Okay, so my first finger is gonna be on fret 13 on the E, and my third is on 15, my pinky on 17 and they're already gonna be on there, okay? What I'm gonna do, this is primarily down picks I'm using here and inside the string picking, if you know what that is, okay? So I'm gonna be picking down here on the 17, pulling off these three notes in a triplet style. So one, two, three, one, two, three, three notes per beat, evenly spaced. So like that. That's my first triplet, one, two, three, one beat. Then I'm moving this whole position down, but I'm coming here now my first finger's on fret 10 on the E, my third finger's on fret 13 on the E, and my pinky is on 15 on the E. And we're doing the next set of triplets, which will be 15, pull off to 13, pull off to 10. Okay, so it's like this. 
okay? So you have to move into this shape quite quickly, okay? You, your accuracy has to be pretty good with your fingers so that you can do that without stopping. So one, two, three, one, two, three, like that, okay? And from there, we do a sequence of triplets down the pentatonic scale. It's pretty easy now. Uh, we're going 13, 10, 13 on the B. Okay, and I'm doing that with a down, pull off, and an up. Okay, I'm staying inside the strings here. Then doing the next set of triplets, which would be 10, over onto the B now with an upstroke, 13, pull off to 10. Okay, so. One, two, three, one, two, three. You can hear that, yeah, so. You should be able to hear three notes there with each pick if the pick, if the beat was starting on like the first pick. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And from there, we go 13, 10, and then with my second finger, I come down to 12 on the G. That's my next set of triplets. One, two, three. And from there, that's the end of the triplets. And what I do now is I do like a pretty fast looping, repeating lick here, which is a four note sequence actually. And I'm picking down on the 10 on the B, hammering to 13 with my third finger, pulling back off to 10 and upstroking 12 on the G. That looks like this really slow. And what you want to do there is you just want to speed it up. You want to try and get four notes per beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. You can get that quite fast if you want. And then I think I just bend it simply. You can pretty much finish however you want, but it's nice to finish here with the bend on the 13 up to the pitch of 15 because that is the note D. So you're in key there. And you can go wherever you want from there, okay? I just use a bit of vibrato and slide off. You can drag this little lick out here, this repeating part for as long as you want, yeah? And you can just make it a real thing where you just sort of stop and go crazy for a while and then move on, do whatever you want. But that's the lick, okay? So good luck with that. And uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, folks, if you want to check out my latest playlist, which is Licks That Sound Hard But Are Easy-ish, you can find that up here, and I'm going to link the intermediate playlist for you here. There's a ton of stuff in there, so make sure you check these out. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching today, and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.